Hello, today we're going to talk about variables and variable scope in Excel VBA. Um, so to open a Visual Basic editor window, you can press Alt and F11, or you can go to the developer and go to Macros. I'm just going to go Alt F11, and from here, I'm going to insert my first code module. We're going to make this a public subroutine. I'm going to call variable declaration example. Okay. So to declare variables, there's a number of different inbuilt data types that you can use, such as byte, boolean. Um, that's how, that takes two values, true or false. Um, integer, long integer, so longer numbers. Single up to four bytes in memory storage. Double, which are normally have um, decimal places. Currency, um, there is a decimal object as well. Each stores a different amount of memory. Um, there's date, you can store things as objects. You can set things as variants, which means it takes any number of uh, characters. I've already got a, um, a demonstration around variables, but we'll, we'll declare a few now. Dim. So to declare a variable, we use the dim or dimension keyword. I'm going to call my ball as boolean. So use the as keyword to set the data type in uh, VBA. Then to assign it a value, we're going to set my ball equal to false. We could also do something like um, dim. I could put this at the end here. So I could go, um, let's have a date. My dates, let's date. Okay, and I can set my date. And then what we're going to use is a special Excel function called now. So if I then pass these to the intermediate window using dball.print my ball. If I view the intermediate window now and run this code routine, you'll see that my my ball's value is currently set to false. If I then change this to my date, I can see that's set to today at this time, 2126. Okay, so basically that's how you declare variables. I'll show you a list in a second of all the inbuilt uh, variables that you can use. One thing to note in uh, before we move on to the next section is that Excel VBA, um, you, you don't have to declare these variables. You could just use currently in this module. I could use I could use anything in my code. So I could set something like Gary variable, that's my name. And we're going to set it um, equal to 20, 12. If I run this and create it as a message box, which will print out my Gary variable. So if I run this code again, it's going to be 12 because basically you didn't, I didn't have to declare what data type it was. If you want to force yourself to declare um, all variables. At the top of the, the uh, module window you have to type option explicit which means you need an explicit declaration of all variables. So if I try and run this code routine now it's going to come up with a variable not defined error which means that I need to declare it as a dim um, so I need to essentially do this. So I need to say Gary variable as, and I'm going to set it as a integer because it's a number. So now this should work when I run it this time because it knows that it's been declared. But if I didn't, if I'd have missed this declaration statement off again, it comes back with variable not defined. So that actually, obviously, an explicit statement forces you to declare declare all your variables. So well, let's go on to variable scope. So public 
sub variable scope. So we've got three different types of um, scoping of variables. We've got those that are made available to a single procedure. So this would be a single procedure variable. So if I declare something inside this subroutine, that's a comment by the way, you have to include a quotation mark. So if I declared something as dim uh, my dates as dim single var and we'll just set it as currency and we'll say single var equals let's say 12. So message box just to see what that does. Okay, so 12. So if then I try to use this variable inside this subroutine outside of the subroutine, public sub reference single procedure variable. So if I now try and reference that single variable there, so if I say message box again and try and print out a single variable, and I run this line, it's going to say variable not defined because the variable's only been defined in this single procedure. So only this subroutine here, everything between the public and end sub, can work with that variable. If I wanted to then make this available, this single var available to other modules like the one that I've just created here, I'd have to not declare it here inside the subroutine, but underneath option explicit or at the top of the first subroutine, I type dim and I'd probably say something like um, let's just say single module variable as and let's just say to um, string I'm going to pass a string value to it so some text so now in each one of these subroutines I will be able to use this single module variable so I'll be able to set it a value and you know use it in more than one of these public subroutines. So if I go here, just get, let me just take the name of the variable there, I'll copy that. So if I went um, here and set it equal to um, variable scope, variable in the scope, shall we say, and then I then printed this as a message box, single module variable. So I'm going to run this variable scope here, 12, and variables in scope. If I then use this example again and copy it down into the next subroutine, you'll find that, oh, that's just that one, let me just comment that out. That's from the previous example. You'll find now that I'll just have one command that says variable in scope. Let's run that. So yeah, essentially these two subroutines here are using this module level, um, single module level variable. We could also make it private as well to, s to see what that does. So private sets it just with inside this module, um, but I would prefer dim just to dimension it as a single variable. If I wanted to make, if inside this um, module I wanted to make it available to another module, so what I'm going to do is add another module here, module 2. You can name these, let's call it um, module variable scope um, and we'll just call it 
mod variable scope two. So go back to variable scope. So if I then instead of having dim here, create this as public. So that becomes now a public variable that's available to all modules. So if I create a subroutine here, you don't need to create, you don't actually need to type public sub, it's just good practice, but sub can suffice also. So referencing um, referencing let's call it global variable or all module variable. So now if I want to assign this single module variable, we know it's not single anymore, it's global, but I want to assign this with a value. So now I'm going to say this is available to all my modules. And then we're just going to message box that was all. So this is available to all my modules. Something else you can do, which will help you understand the code and how it uh, jumps between subroutines, is go into a step into procedure. So this is entering the debugging menu. So F8, so it starts the actual debugging. So if you click F8 on your keyboard, it gets down to the next line, because with, with routines, they basically process that line's processed, then that line, then that line, etc., etc. As a script. So we can see that we're assigning this value here, a single module variable, to with this value as a string, because if you can remember we set it as a string previously. So then when I go F8 again, I know that that's now been set. And then I can say that's now available to all my modules. And that just gives you another way to step through your code. That will become useful later on when we start working with class, class modules, etc. That's essentially how you declare a, declare a variable. We've looked at that. Uh, how you set a variable. How you then print out a variable. So we use debug.print to print it to the intermediate window. Um, and then immediate window, sorry. And then in the second example, we set the Gary variable equal to 12 and that was an example of using option explicit to make sure that you declare all your variables. We then went on to variable scope so we spoke about the difference between a single procedure variable so this variable is only available to the variable scope procedure so it's only available inside that. If I had to try to call that from outside of this so we tried it with the message box lot single variable there, it didn't know what we were referencing. We then looked at um, a module variable. So with a module variable, this module, m variable scope, we set we set the variable at the top as a subroutine. So we went dim dim single module variable. That made it available to this module, m variable scope. If I then try to access this from outside now, that shouldn't work. So then finally, we talked about making a global variable. So we use a second sub we use a second module to refer to that global variable and we set a value of that global variable inappropriately named single module variable. We set that global variable and to make it global we use the word keyword public. So we set that this is available to all my modules and then we print that as a message box. So that's the difference between module level, um, procedure level, single procedure level, module level, and global level, all modules. OK, guys, if you've got any questions around that, around variable scoping, I can uh, go into greater depth. But if not, I'll uh, catch you next time. 
Thanks, guys. Keep watching.